Oh boy, here we go again. So, by the time you've watched, you watch this, you'll already know there's been a big slump in my uh, uploading lately. I have footage, I just have not got around to getting it edited and set to go online. And obviously I haven't fixed my power steering yet either. I haven't shaved since I trimmed it all off, which you saw in previous videos. But, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, today is the 3rd of October, I think. It was a pretty dreary day outside, um, but it's Saturday, so anyways, I'm going up to the old man's place and we're going to burn shit. I got uh, some progress on the truck, too. Um, I bought uh, three batteries from the boss, so I now have a proper battery set up. I just got to hook up a couple extra cables to link everything together. But that's no biggie. Truck's acting like a bag of shit since I run out of gas. Unless the clogged injector or something's going on with that. But anyways, uh, so yeah. Uh, so anyways, after getting it running, I've... I think I even, I don't even know if I told you guys. I replaced the fuel pump and I've got it running, but it runs like a bag of shit. Um, it doesn't run good at all. Uh, it's hard to even start. Once it starts, it's, you get a couple fireballs out the car and she just dies right away. It doesn't idle at all. So uh, I said, fuck it. Get new plugs, wires, rotor button cap. Uh, so I got all that. I gotta see in time. Maybe I'll get a new electronic ignition. Go that route, but we'll see. But yeah, anyways, uh, the wires I haven't got yet, but I got new plugs. I ordered a cap and button, and the wires are ordered, so I should have one of those next week. So that should hopefully significantly improve my uh, electrical. Because right now, with the wires, I think that's a good part of my problem. It's going to shorten it everywhere. So there's that. Uh, so that's coming along master cylinder that I got was a bust so far. Um, I'm thinking, I, have, I just haven't had time to get to it yet, but when I get the time, I'm going to try to see if the bolts are the same as the bracket bolts. Because if they line up the same as the bracket bolts, then I can just take the bracket off and bolt the master cylinder right to the firewall, in which case it would work. So, we'll see how it goes. But hopefully that's what I'm able to do, because that would be so much fucking easier. If that gives me the master cylinder that you know, I desperately need. It's not in the best of shape, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, well, it's uh, stormy out. Hope we can burn tonight. I'd like to have a fire. And, uh, the jacket on the dog, and that's how cool it is. It's funny, it was about a week and a half ago, it was hot, really hot, like wearing shorts and a t shirt, you were sweating. And then, bang, all of a sudden it's like fucking cold. I wear a fucking big old jacket, I'm wearing a jacket and a hoodie over top of my fucking t shirt today. That's how it goes. Boy, I've inspired some other people to do some burnouts here. <laughs> I'm not the only one doing burnouts. But, uh, yeah, like, like I've said, the truck project is slow. Um, ho I really hope, or I'm really hoping I can get it geared up for this winter, but this winter ain't that far away. It's a slow process. You know, between me needing time to do the stuff, getting the money for the parts, getting the parts, putting them on, you know, figuring out what else I need to do. It's taken a while. It's definitely taken a while. Oh, here we go.
I find if I zigzag back and forth like this, when I'm going over washboards, it kind of makes the truck slide sideways and it rides the bumps better somehow. I probably make them worse. But my exhaust is leaking. Sounds a little different. Sometimes. This little truck's she's not doing so good. <laughs> But, two years of very little maintenance, and after sitting for a year, so basically three years of the bare minimum done to keep it going, it's done pretty good. It's still plodding along. I mean, if I dumped a grand into it, I'd have a usable truck for maybe a couple of years. But then I don't think, I don't think it would last any longer than that, because you know, maybe if you clean the frame up, undercoat it, cleaned it all up good. You know, maybe then. But uh, without doing that, I don't see it uh, lasting all that long. But uh, anyways, that's just this truck, and you know, most trucks I find are just like most vehicles are disposable. It got me this far. I can't complain about that. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm usual scatterbrain weekend kind of blah. So, uh, and I'm where I'm going. So, that's the end of this part of this video. I don't know if it's going to be the end of the video or just the end, or the end of this part of this video. Or maybe I'll just talk like I have marbles in my mouth. And so it's really, really foggy out today. Okay, you can tell, can't see a fucking thing. Oh. Right here, the truck's on, sounding proper, it's spitting and sputtering again. I think I have a problem here. There you go, now you can kind of see. than a bumpity bump. <clears throat> yeah, just taking the truck home. I had a few last night with the old man as usual. Oh, the truck's fucking sputtering again. I'd do something about that. It only really does it when it's cold. Which is kind of a bonus, but it seems. It's getting worse with the colder it gets. So. shit out of it. Stalled on me a couple times now. Yeah. Oh, we're good. Oh, uh, so I got a pile of wood today. That's my plan. Uh, other than that, I don't know. It's, Nice day finally, it's been kind of dreary and rainy for the last few days. So it's nice that the weather's cleared up. Just for a little while, I don't know why I still have my wipers on. But, uh, yeah, not a hell of a lot going on. Uh, I got my toys, my parts for my truck, I'll hopefully get them on today. Hopefully get a little video of that, uh, keep you guys a video update. Of, so I got done on that so far. I gotta really get going on that bodywork so I can get the tank back in and get that done so the fuel system's done and then I can move on to bigger, more important things. And, you know, steering, stopping, exhaust. Because I still have all those issues that uh, need large amounts of attention. Ketchup in here at my center console. Ever cold. Refrigerator 
kitchen. Got off cold last night. Down to refrigerator temperature. Oh, for fuck's sakes, these fucking cyclists. I had one of them pull right out in front of me earlier. He looked back, saw me, and pulled right in front of me. I couldn't fucking believe it. Cyclists, if you haven't noticed already. I don't have huge problems with them, but some of them, the ones that drive in the middle of the goddamn road, I do. Oh, for fuck's sakes, here we go. This is just a wonderful spot to do this. Shit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys would have saw that, but that seagull almost got trained by the girlfriend. She's a seagull killing machine. She did happen to get one last year, I think. Unfortunately, yeah, just ran up around the Oh boy. Anyways, guys. Uh, random blabbering video. Uh, you know, um, yeah, no, okay. yeah, it's not too late by the time I get this up because I'm slacking. But uh, yeah, it's fall guys. It's starting to cool off. We're starting to get ready for winter. Soon. I'm going to be in the garage a lot more. Because I'm the only place I can go. That is once I get some heat in there. Anyways, talk to you all later.